Despite the war, Russian gas is still running through Ukraine, a paradox that could only stop once the EU will totally cut its dependence on Russian energy. That's according to the chief executive of Ukraine's state energy company Naftogaz, who spoke with Euronews while in Brussels. Brussels has drastically reduced its gas imports from Russia, but some member states from Central and Western Europe still get it through Ukrainian pipelines. Overall, we should limit any additional income by Russia during the course of war. Mm -hmm. But from another, from another hand, we should understand that some European countries cannot immediately refuse of using this gas, and we welcome the initiative of European Union to, to constantly reduce the consumption of oh, Russian gas. So you're saying it's up to the European member states actually to uh, reject Absolutely. this gas coming through Ukraine from Russia? Absolutely. The customer is uh, European Union countries. At the same time, Naftogaz CEO says that Ukraine's main goal and biggest challenge is to stop importing gas and become self-sufficient as well as becoming a net exporter and energy hub for the rest of Europe. We are planning to produce more gas domestically and uh, Naftogaz itself, as the biggest energy company in Ukraine, will produce additionally one billion of cubic meters of gas. And that might lead to the situation when Ukraine can satisfy its own needs with internal gas production. That is our main goal. Is it a realistic scenario, you think, to do it next year? And I mean, when the war is still ongoing? We have no other way. We should produce more. We should consume less, we should be more energy efficient, and we are approaching to it. Ukraine, in the regard of its energy, can become an energy hub for the European Union. We do have the biggest storages of gas in our country, which is 31 billion of cubic meters of capacity, mm -hmm. and we plan to use it as for Ukrainian needs, as well as for European countries. The Ukrainian gas chief is also pushing Brussels to make use of Ukraine's underground gas storage facilities and also by providing further security guarantees, as in times of war, it is not easy to get investors and insurance.